Corbin, obviously it's a big coup for you to have the sweepstakes airplane for 2010 to be uh, one of your particular breed. What do you see as the potential for taking an organization which has been generally uh, identified with old GA and trying to introduce people to new GA? Well, we have identified that um, the that AOPA has learn to understand that they too need what aviation needs and that is new members. We believe that AOPA is truly committed to taking the benefits of aviation out to a larger constituency and we want to be part of that. Obviously that it coincides very nicely with the message that we are projecting in our marketing efforts and that is there is a valuable and relevant proposition to the non-aviator and we need to get the word out that and, and make him understand that. What are the lessons you think you take away from 2009 in regards to the combination of the economy as well as the perception of LSA across GA? What did you learn this year? Well, to be very honest with you, I think the rest of the world learned more than we did because they learned that LSA is here to stay. I believe that there's a kind of a growing awareness of the fact that if LSA is not successful, it's going to be one of the last bids of general aviation to stay a consumer-relevant um, segment of industry. I would venture the guess that the success that we will see in the next years is based more upon discretionary spending and lifestyle opportunity than about around utility of aviation. Having said that, we will have to prove the utility to those who use aviation commercially, which means it's an added burden to us. We will have to do traditional marketing as we did it in the past, but if we fail at the new exercise, um, it will not speak well for general aviation. Remus has built a reputation at being at the higher end of the price range. As a matter of fact, we have found out that that has not hurt our sales. Um, obviously, we're enjoying substantially above average sales, and we have identified a niche for a product that is exactly in the spot we are in, delivering a premium product at still a quasi-commodity price. Um, the public is coming to understand that if they want something that looks and behaves like an airplane, they will have to pay good money for it, but they're looking for value and a return, and I think we're providing that. So generally speaking, the community understands that the price tags LSAs are coming at right now are still about half of what Part 23 aircraft cost, and they're being accepted of that. So we're quite confident that our positioning is pretty good. 2010 presents a number of challenges. Uh, obviously, one of the biggest is the fact that a company that has been a legend in the uh, GA business for many years is entering the LSA uh, market for, for real and producing airplanes. How do you feel about going up against Cessna in 2010? I don't really feel we're going up against Cessna. I, I, I love the fact that Cessna has endorsed the industry. Um, they're concentrating heavily on flight training, which is something that we're doing too because it's the right thing to do. Um, I believe that the value proposition to the individual owner that we're making um, has great merit and we're looking forward to that kind of competition. Um, as a fa matter of fact, um, the, we think that the advertising that Cessna is putting out right now speaks quite well for us, so we're, we're happy with where we are. Aero TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.